Uh, and, and vice versa in something like this. If we're going higher, uh, eight and a half, nine and a half, we might be 150 to 200%. And the reason why we need more volume in biased uh, throttle body positions is we need to slow it down and we also need some taper to compensate in the planum. So the easiest way is I've explained it to many people is if we just draw a line through this section, um, there's a couple of things we have to control for. First is the D cell factor. So this is why this angle uh, or what I call the expansion zone, which is if we cut the manifold or cut the front off, this section here should be about 150% bigger than your throttle body over a little bit of distance, two to three inches. Obviously, the longer we have it over, the better we change that speed and we're not colliding molecules. This is why if you see manifolds where guys, they have a, a plan like that and they just bolt a throttle body on there, um, it's going from, you know, 150 feet per second to maybe 75. And it's transitioning over a dead a line, so it's just stalls. Uh, obviously, this creates a ton of eddies, top and bottom, uh, and creates a lot of restriction in the manifold. Where in this section, if we desell it properly, we slowly expand that up. This is our expansion zone in the planum before we even get to the runners itself. Uh, and then the taper is to compensate, to try and balance the velocity in the airspeed. Because if we break the manifold up into its sections, let's say this is a V8 and we have two runners there, two runners there, front, back, da, da, da. As this air moves across the planum, from this section we need to supply eight fold, eight times the air. 